This video is brought to you by Cool Green Clothing. Cool Green Clothing is a Baltimore-based clothing line that started back in 2018 and has been growing strong ever since. Make sure you follow Cool Green Clothing on Facebook and IG at Cool Green Clothing and check out their website, coolgreenclothing.com, where you can find the latest Cool Green fashions and hats, women's apparel, and the latest men's collection. Remember, if you ain't coolin' and get in the green, you in the world. Yeah, shout out my nigga Cool Green on the on the fit though. Got me trippy, you heard? Oh man, check out my man. Yo, you feel me? Yo, be getting me right. Ah, you feel me? Big clothing for real, you feel me? Come with everything for real. I'm grabbing everything for my man. Yo, you feel me? Shout out to my man. Yo, you feel me? Support. You heard? Exactly. Yes, sure. yeah. Cool Green, right here, Sadie. Cool Green, you already know downtown B more. We that's where we at. You already know representing New York, Harlem shit right here uptown. But we downtown right now. You see that, my man? Yo, come and get my man Cool Green. Rock it. You see it? I'm gonna make it look good for niggas to get. Daddy, sales is going up today because of the Cool Greens. And I'm telling you, follow Cool Green Clothing. It's so important for us to support our entrepreneurs. There's so much talent in Baltimore. And as a creative entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it is. And I love to see just people going out there and going for their dreams. So let's get it. Bless up. What's going on, YouTube fan? It's your boy Tony Two Times. And we back with another episode of the Baltimore Way, man. And today, we're going to take it over east and talk about the Triple C gang. And before I get into this video, everything is alleged, but let's get right into it. Baltimore City has always been known to breed different type of individuals. A place where people try their best to make it, sometimes by any means necessary. The Triple C gang was no different. Short for cruddy, conniving, crut balls. If you're not from Baltimore, cruddy is a term used to describe a person that is cutthroat, who will do anything to maintain for them and their people, even if that means getting rid of you. Ho, an alleged nickname for the gang's leader, allegedly started the squad as an off branch of the BGF or Black Gorilla family. Quickly expanding in East and Northeast Baltimore, Dolly Park and Orchard Ridge, where the gang hustled and sold anything you can name, from smack, fent, coat, grass, whatever to make bread for the gang. But in Baltimore, having a shop is just the beginning. You gotta protect your investment by any means. And sometimes that means taking life. Allegedly, the gang grew in numbers and respect. Known to get busy whenever anybody played with them or their team or even the name. Money by any means, carjacking, extortion, licks, or taking hits. In the streets, money talks, but hitters respect hitters. And unfortunately in Baltimore, only thing that is respected is the murder game, and which some squads do to a T. Allegedly, Ho made it where his young boys did whatever to protect their brand. And if anybody needed a body drop, long as the bread was right, the hoppers was on, on go. Blickies wasn't a problem at all. Once the bad dropped, it was just a race to who caught the person first. On sight is an understatement. Triple C's also had a few rappers and songs were dropped, letting ops know what they was on, blickies out, and talking that gang talk. Social media being an outlet for the gang to show off their arsenal and let the city know they were ready for whatever. Allegedly, the squad did over 18 hits and 27 attempts and got active whenever the time came. And if they lost a member, retaliation was a must. Social media can be a gift or a curse if you are really in the streets and somebody wants your head, it's nothing for them to get the drop or location, and allegedly Triple C's was pros at this. The city is small, so one slip up, it can be all over. The gang sent texts to each other about possible victims and what to do with the blicky after the hit. With all this action, the police wasn't far behind. A few members got picked up, and through the jail phones, let the other members know in the streets that it was hot and to fall back. But the feds was already building the case, alleging the squad of trafficking, witness intimidation, doing hits, pretty much every charge you can think of in the, the game tried to fall back, but the damage was already done. 
and feds sent down a 15 member indictment accusing the gang of terrorizing their hoods and running a criminal enterprise. Some of the squad was picked up immediately, but others wasn't going that easy, whole being one. The alleged big dub would leave the city and shoot down south. At this time, the raids in the city was hot. Police ran in a few spots and allegedly got over 15 blitties, ready, smack, and cash. The gang was caught up. But Ho took his chances coming to Georgia to escape the heat. But unfortunately, while in the Atlanta suburb, police would swoop in, shots were fired, and Ho allegedly took his own life. Ten members of the squad have already pled guilty and waiting to be sentenced. As we all know, the city is not the best when it comes to opportunities. But we also should know the feds are in Baltimore. And one slip up, your gang gang can be dismantled. More of this story, it's a cycle. It will never be one group to run a city because there's always somebody coming up in the ranks. And if they don't hit you first, the feds will. We taught to get it how we live. Well, maybe we should change the way we live. But hey, that's the Baltimore way. Yeah, man, this is a crazy story. A lot of people been requesting this video. And I wasn't even going to touch it because, you know what I mean, they still fighting that case. But like I said, everything is speculation. Everything is alleged. But man, like I say, like the city, you feel me? Like the word cruddy, you know what I mean? It's just one of them things where it's though even me and my wife was talking. And she was talking about, you know, the time she spent in Baltimore and stuff like that when we was home and stuff. But she was just saying like, cruddy is kind of like a way of life. We don't want to live like that. We don't want to be like that. But it's like... You just want to survive and make it to the next day. So if that means being cruddy, taking people off, you know what I mean? My people going to eat instead of your people's. Some people trying to, you know, just do that and just get their bread. But at the end of the day, you feel me? When you living like that, you know, it's also consequences. And it definitely can come back tenfold. So when you out there, you just got to know, you know what I mean? Like, it's fun when you doing your thing and you making moves and you, you making, you feel me? You making people... You know what I mean? Bow down to you, but you feel me? There's always somebody out there up and coming. You know what I mean? And there's always somebody out there that go just a little harder. And if they don't go a little harder, they might just catch you first. So y'all already know, man, lose-lose situation. But you know, some of these dudes, they young. You know what I mean? Some of them a little older. You know, rest in peace to uh to big, the big Doug. You know what I mean? You feel me? I heard a lot about you, but you know, that ain't for this video, but... Yeah, man, it's crazy, man, crazy story, man. I just wish that one day, you feel me, like, all that strength we got and all that brain power we got, we can just link up and put our city on the map because they ain't going to do it for us. But this is another episode of Baltimore Way. Be sure to like, comment, share. Love y'all, fam. I'm out.